lightning strikes during a storm in the Houston, Texas area yesterday. There were no reports of injuries, but definitely an impressive sight. Wow. It's really kind of neat to see that from a distance and from right. indoors, if at all possible. But yeah, there's a lot of storms, they're a lot more electrically active than some other ones can be. And that right there is called the underrated killer for a very good reason. So, I mean, if you have any plans for being outdoors and there's any chance of thunderstorms out there, if you can see that lightning or if you can hear the thunder, you are within range of getting struck by that. And this doesn't even compare. I mean, you can see the lightning strikes with this normal video. If you ever have a chance to go on YouTube or other video sites and watch a high speed video of lightning, just watching it form, watching it fork and branch and go through the atmosphere. Uh, some amazing video exists over stuff like that. It's neat to see things of that nature, but once again, treat it with the respect it deserves. Again, remember when thunder roars, go indoors. Let's remember to all stay safe out there whenever there's lightning around. You always say that and it you mm -hmm. it's so catchy, you remember it. So every time I'm out, I'm like, oh, I need to get inside. Yeah, it was, well, right now we stand at about 34 lightning deaths for the year and that Wow. ties us with uh, 2009 and 2007 and 2010, I believe, were a couple of the worst years with about roughly 50 to 60 deaths. So we've gotten too many deaths as it is already. So let's just remember to prepare for stuff like that and to be as careful as possible. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Austin. Well, our coverage of the September 11th anniversary continues next on Daybreak. We'll take you to New York for the plan memorial ceremony, plus the scary situation at a health care center in Tennessee and the man police want to find in connection with it. That's next on Daybreak.